Uh, so my name is Jackson Reedy, and uh, I'm a senior uh, here at Notre Dame. I'm a BFA painting major uh, from Chicago, and I'm preparing for uh, my thesis show coming up uh, here at the end of the year. I knew the minute I got uh, the envelope from Notre Dame, you know, that was going to be my school. And I came here and I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to study as. I think a lot of undergraduates um, feel th the same way, you know, but I took a couple studio classes and I had always had this interest in art um, and I was con concerned with you know, kind of what I was going to do, maybe graphic design or something, but I took those studio classes and a couple uh, drawing painting classes and I kind of knew right away that that was going to be the thing for me and it just felt right. And since then, I think that this program has given me all the tools and in the past four years, my work has certainly come a long way. And I definitely um, am very excited to continue uh, going with that and hopefully going to grad school somewhere next year. Yeah, so my favorite aspects of being a student at Notre Dame, um, I mean, obviously, the school is very well known for a lot of reasons. And people think of Notre Dame and they think of the football and touchdown Jesus in the grotto and all the great history and stuff. Um, but, you know, I, I, I got to say, while those things are great, it's awesome to have that just uh, kind of the connections that you have with people on this campus um, kind, of, kind of mean the world to me, particularly in this department. Um, you know, like the connections I have with the faculty and um, just other people around the department, the friends that I've made and stuff like that, that's what's really made uh, this probably the best four years of my life, you know. So it, it's great to have kind of the reputation that Notre Dame does and it certainly holds true, but um, just on a day-to-day -day basis, kind of those connections with individuals are what makes this experience really great, and those are connections I know that I'll always have. Thinking about um, studying art and stuff, and I thought I, I knew a lot about and stuff, but I quickly realized that uh, I, I did not know that much about art and art history and stuff like that. So, of course, over the past four years, I've taken a lot of classes um, to learn more about that stuff and really research um, this this craft I'm kind of pursuing the art of painting you know um, and I think that just by taking those classes it's really helped to inform my work and whereas in the past art was like a hobby for me I now see it through a much more critical lens where I see art as kind of this way um, that culture is created and, and developed and stuff and uh, as as the artist um, I'm kind of able to play a part in kind of how that culture is created which I think is pretty cool so um, every, every time I'm making work, I'm thinking about kind of the uh, circumstances that that will have for society and how people see it and the kind of, the kind of visual language that I'm articulating with the world because um, that's important, something um, that people don't always realize when they're looking at art. If I had to give any advice to an incoming student um, in the art program, um, I would say that, uh, I mean, th this program requires you to um, complete a certain amount of prereq courses uh, if you're gonna be the BFA, and you'll, you'll be very, by the time you complete those seven courses, you'll be very well versed in all different things. You'll take sculpture and painting and some stuff on the computer, you know, so you, you've got this very broad spectrum, photography, but uh, after you complete those, the sooner you can kind of hone in and focus on a specific skill or issue or concept or something that you're interested in, the more time you'll have to kind of research and really dive deep into that um, throughout your, your time at Notre Dame. So um, I've, I've been lucky enough to kind of have uh, this idea that I, that I want to discover for my thesis project for a little over a year. Um, and I know that um, sometimes people don't, don't always have that as figured out, but kind of the sooner you can figure out um, what you want to like really study, the more time you really have to, d to like dive deep into that. So, so d definitely don't rush that by any means, but um, just be very conscious about, um, you know, or be very conscious about what you're thinking about whenever you're creating work, because the more figure, the sooner you can figure it out, I think the better your work will be for it. What what do I enjoy most about my work? Um, I mean, I, I enjoy everything about it. You know, I mean, I I'm an artist. I live I live to create art. You know, and stuff. And when I'm not goofing around, doing other stuff, hanging out with my friends, or doing what. My, my extracurriculars, you know, th this is probably the main way I, I enjoy spending my time. Uh, but I, I, I mean, I live for the nights when you're in the studio all day, you go to dinner, and then go maybe back to the room, shower, and then you come back here, 
everyone's gone, flip on the music real loud, kick the door open, and then it's just you and the canvas for like four hours, you know, at a night, on, on a certain night at a time. And just kind of that time by myself to kind of be with my thoughts and just like jam out by myself in my studio with my work, you know, that's, I, I, I really, I'm gonna be sad to give that up as part of an aspect of being here. And I'm sure that opportunity be there in the future, you know, but I really like being here in Riley Hall um, and kind of the opportunity that that gives me uh, when, I'm, when I'm making my work. As many artists, I haven't had just one uh, singular interest, but um, with, with this senior thesis project um, that I've had coming up for a long time, I've known that I've, I've needed to come up with a collective body of work. Um, so I did some reading this past summer um, uh, about kind of gender and how we think about it um, in our society. And, um, I've read a couple books um, on the subject, and it's, it's really interesting to me and something that I definitely feel uh, the pressures of from society in my daily life. So what I've done for my thesis project I've, is I've created this series of paintings that kind of lifts uh, the curtain on how we think about uh, gender performance and sex um, kind of through the lens of popular culture. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to bombard the eye with as many um, instances I, as I can of recognizable image, images from popular culture that um, you know I enjoy and I think like-minded people like me probably are familiar with and enjoy and stuff but I kind of uh, hope to arrange them in a way so that they're kind of understood a little more in kind of how we value these things and kind of raising some questions and challenging um, the societal norms that we have about these things. So uh, they're supposed to be fun and funny, but at the same time, kind of raise some eyebrows, kind of uh, shedding some light in these behaviors that we're also accustomed to concerning gender.